Have you ever felt like you're living on autopilot, going through the motions without really experiencing life? Like you're watching from the sidelines as days, weeks and years slip through your fingers, unmarked and indistinguishable. It's a sensation more common than you might think, and it whispers a haunting question. Is this all there is? This very question, this deep-seated yearning for something more, propelled me on a journey. A quest not just for answers, but for meaning. A journey that led me to a place so ancient, yet so relevant, that it felt like discovering a hidden map to the very treasure we're all searching for, a life truly worth living. Today, I'm not just going to share this map with you, I'm going to show you how to use it. So, if you've ever felt that gnawing sense of emptiness, if you've ever wondered if there's more to life, or if you're simply seeking ways to live more deeply, stay with me. Because this might just be the most important journey we embark on together. Before we dive in, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video. It's easier than saying no to a free coffee. And stick around for the whole ride. No skipping. I promise it'll be more entertaining than watching paint dry. 1. Personal Story All right. Let's get personal for a moment. Picture this. Me, a few years back, caught in the gears of the daily grind. I was like a character in one of those movies, you know, where they wake up, do the same repetitive job, go to sleep, and then it all starts over again. Except, there wasn't any dramatic music in the background, just the ticking of the clock reminding me that time was slipping away. I felt stuck, my friends, stuck in a life that looked okay on the outside, but felt incredibly empty on the inside. Now, here's where Stoicism enters the scene. You might be wondering, what Stoicism got to do with any of this? Well, a lot, actually. Stoicism isn't just some ancient philosophy for people in togas. It's about finding clarity, resilience, and joy in life, no matter what it throws at you. It's like having a mental toolkit for life's ups and downs, a kind of wisdom you carry around in your back pocket. So, back to my story. There I was, scrolling aimlessly through videos, looking for something, anything, that might spark a bit of joy or inspiration. And I stumbled upon Stoicism quite by accident, or maybe it was fate. I found this video, much like the one you're watching now, and it talked about this guy, Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor who was also a Stoic philosopher. And let me tell you, this guy had it tough. Power struggles, wars, a plague, you name it. Yet he wrote about finding inner peace and happiness, not by changing his circumstances, but by changing his perspective. That hit me like a ton of bricks. You see, Stoicism taught me something invaluable. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. It's about recognizing that, while we can't control everything around us, like traffic, weather, or even other people's actions, we have total control over our own thoughts and reactions. Stoicism anchored me during my own personal storms, providing a sturdy philosophy to hold on to when everything else seemed to be in flux. I began to apply Stoic principles to my everyday life, and it was transformative. Instead of feeling overwhelmed by things outside my control, I focused on my actions, my responses. I learned the power of perception, how viewing obstacles as opportunities for growth could change the game. Stoicism wasn't just a philosophy, it became my way of life. And the most beautiful part? Stoicism is accessible to anyone. You don't need to be a philosopher king or have a degree in ancient history. All you need is a willingness to look at life a little differently, to challenge your perceptions, and to take responsibility for your own happiness. So, if you're feeling stuck, if you're searching for a way to navigate life's challenges with more grace and less stress, Stoicism might just be what you're looking for. Stick with me 
And let's explore how this ancient wisdom can be applied to our modern lives, turning our struggles into strengths and our challenges into opportunities. This conversational approach weaves personal narrative with the principles of Stoicism, aiming to connect on a personal level while introducing the viewer to the potential life-changing impact of Stoic philosophy. 2. Discovery of Stoicism Okay, let's dive a bit deeper into how I stumbled upon Stoicism, because trust me, it wasn't like I was on some noble quest for ancient wisdom. Far from it. I was just your average Joe, trying to make sense of a life that felt increasingly senseless. You know those nights when you're just aimlessly clicking through the internet, looking for something to catch your attention, but you're not even sure what you're looking for. That was me. And then, as if by some twist of fate, I clicked on a video titled Stoicism, the ancient art of not giving a petit peprint. Now, with a title like that, how could I not be intrigued? I was expecting some kind of self-help guru to start preaching, but what I got was a deep dive into this fascinating world of Stoic philosophy. It was about this idea that we could face life's toughest challenges with a sense of calm and resilience. And the more I listened, the more I felt like this was speaking directly to me. It was as if Stoicism had been waiting for me to find it at just the right moment. The video introduced me to some of the big names in Stoicism, Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, Epictetus. These weren't just old, dead guys with beards. They were real people who had faced real challenges, much like we do today. They dealt with loss, pain, power, responsibility, and the chaos of the human condition. Yet, they found a way to navigate through it all with a kind of grace and composure that I found captivating. Marcus Aurelius, for example, was not only a Roman emperor, but also a Stoic philosopher who kept a personal diary, now known as Meditations. In it, he wrote down his thoughts, reflections and advice to himself on how to live a good life in the midst of turmoil. Reading his words, I was struck by how relevant they still are. It's like he's speaking across centuries, reminding us that while the world around us might change, the human struggle and our ability to rise above it remain constant. Seneca, another Stoic heavyweight, wrote letters and essays that tackled everything from anger and happiness to friendship and the brevity of life. His work is filled with practical advice that you can apply directly to your daily struggles and dilemmas. And then there's Epictetus, a former slave who became one of the most influential Stoic teachers. He emphasized the importance of focusing on what's within our control and letting go of what isn't, a message that resonated deeply with me. As I delved deeper into Stoicism, I realized it wasn't just about enduring pain or suppressing emotions. It's about recognizing what truly matters in life, finding inner peace, and understanding our place in the universe. Stoicism teaches us to appreciate what we have, face our challenges with courage, and always strive to be better human beings. The discovery of Stoicism was like finding a guide to living a meaningful life. It wasn't about giving up on happiness but finding it in the right places. It taught me to look inward for strength, to cultivate my character, and to see adversity not as an enemy, but as a teacher. So my friends, that's how I stumbled into the world of Stoicism. It was an accidental click that led me to a philosophy that has since become a cornerstone of my life. And I believe it can be for you too. Whether you're facing personal trials, seeking deeper meaning, or simply looking for a more resilient way to live, Stoicism has something to offer. Let's explore this ancient wisdom together and see how it can apply to our modern lives, transforming our challenges into opportunities for growth. 3. Transformation through Stoicism You know the transformation didn't happen overnight. It's not like I woke up one morning, sipped my coffee and 
Bam. I was this enlightened stoic sage, untouched by the chaos of the world. Far from it, the journey was more like hiking up a mountain. You take one step at a time, sometimes you slip, but the view from the top, absolutely worth it. That's what diving deep into stoicism has been like for me, a step-by-step -step transformation that has fundamentally changed how I view the world and my place in it. When I first started exploring Stoicism, I was a bit skeptical. Could these ancient philosophies really help me deal with my modern-day stress and anxiety? Could learning about the thoughts of Marcus Aurelius or Epictetus really make a difference in how I handled the curveballs life seemed to throw at me relentlessly? The answer, as I found out, was a resounding yes. The first big shift was in how I dealt with things out of my control. We all know the feeling, right? That frustration when things don't go our way, despite our best efforts. Stoicism taught me the power of focusing only on what I could control. It sounds simple, but realizing that my efforts are best spent on my actions, my responses, and my attitude, rather than worrying about outcomes I couldn't influence, was liberating. Suddenly, I wasn't as stressed about traffic jams or delayed flights. If I couldn't control it, why let it disturb my peace? This didn't mean I became passive or indifferent. Instead, I learned to channel my energy into productive actions, like enjoying a podcast during that traffic jam or reading a book while waiting for my flight. Stoicism doesn't make your problems disappear but it teaches you to view them through a different lens, making them more manageable. Another transformative aspect was understanding the concept of amor fati, or love of fate. Instead of resenting hardship or wishing for a different reality, I learned to embrace what life threw at me, seeing it as an opportunity to grow. This didn't mean I loved every difficult moment, but I accepted them knowing they were part of my journey. It was about finding the silver lining, even in the darkest clouds. Stoicism also deepened my appreciation for the present moment. We hear it all the time, right? Live in the now. But Stoicism really hammered this home for me. It's not just about enjoying the good times, but also about fully engaging with the challenges, knowing that this moment is all we truly have. It's not about dwelling on past mistakes or worrying about future problems. It's about doing the best we can, right here, right now. The transformation extended to my relationships too. Stoicism taught me the value of empathy, understanding and compassion. I learned that everyone is fighting their own battle often doing the best they can with what they have. This realization helped me become more patient and less quick to judge. It's easy to react with anger or annoyance, but Stoicism encourages us to respond with kindness and understanding, recognizing our shared humanity. And you know the most surprising transformation, the sense of inner peace and contentment Despite the ups and downs, there's this underlying tranquility, knowing that I can handle whatever life throws my way. It's not about being unemotional or detached, but about finding stability within myself, rooted in the wisdom of Stoicism. 4. Introduction to Stoicism for Viewers Alright, let's dive into the heart of Stoicism. Imagine sitting down with a group of friends and someone brings up this term, Stoicism. Maybe you've heard it tossed around or seen it in a book title at the bookstore. But what is it really? And why should we even care? Well, grab your favorite drink, get comfy, because we're about to go on a journey back in time to uncover something that, believe it or not, is incredibly relevant to our lives today. Stoicism is like this ancient toolbox that's been passed down through generations, still shiny and new, because the tools inside are timeless. It was founded way back in the early 3rd century BC in Athens by this guy named Zeno of Citium. 
But don't let the ancient part throw you off. The core of Stoicism is about dealing with life's challenges, something we all can relate to, right? At its core, Stoicism teaches us about the art of living. It shows us how to find inner peace, resilience and happiness, not by changing our external world, but by changing how we react to it. The Stoics believed that life is like a play and we're all actors on this grand stage. We don't get to choose our roles, but we do get to choose how we play them. That's powerful stuff. Now, you might be thinking, okay, but how does this ancient philosophy help me with my crazy boss, my mounting bills, or the fact that I feel like I'm not where I should be in life? Great question. Stoicism isn't about ignoring these problems. Instead, it gives you a way to face them head on with a calm mind and a steady heart. The Stoics talked a lot about focusing on what's in our control and letting go of what isn't. It's like this. Imagine you're stuck in traffic and you're going to be late. You can honk, shout and let your blood pressure go through the roof. Or you can accept that you can't control the traffic, but you can control how you react to it. Maybe you turn on an audiobook or your favorite music, and just like that, you've turned a frustrating situation into an enjoyable one. But stoicism goes deeper. It's not just about coping with annoyances. It's about building a life that's in harmony with nature, with reason, and with our own inner values. It's about recognizing that happiness doesn't come from external things, like money, fame, or even the approval of others, but from within. The Stoics remind us that we're all part of something bigger, connected to each other and to the world around us. And that's a comforting thought. One of the most beautiful aspects of Stoicism is the emphasis on virtue. The Stoics believed that to live a good life, we should strive to be wise, just, courageous, and self-controlled. These aren't just lofty ideals, they're practical guidelines that can help us make better decisions, build stronger relationships, and live more meaningful lives. So, why should you care about Stoicism? Because it's about finding clarity in confusion, strength in adversity, and joy in the simple things. It's about learning to be content with what we have while still striving to be our best selves. And in a world that's constantly trying to pull us in a million different directions, Stoicism offers a way to stay centered, calm, and focused on what truly matters. I'm not saying it's always easy. Like any worthwhile journey, it has its challenges. But I promise you, Exploring Stoicism is one of the most rewarding adventures you can embark on. It's transformed my life, and I have a feeling it could do the same for you. 5. Practical Application of Stoicism Let's get into the nuts and bolts of Stoicism, the part where we roll up our sleeves and see how these ancient ideas fit into our modern lives. Because what's the use of all this wisdom if we don't put it into practice, right? So, first things first, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we can't. It sounds straightforward, but in practice, it's a game changer. Imagine you're working on a project at work, pouring your heart and soul into it, but in the end, the outcome isn't what you expected. Frustrating, isn't it? But here's where Stoicism comes in. It reminds us that while we can't control outcomes, we can control our effort and attitude. We did our part, and that's what counts. This mindset helps reduce anxiety and builds resilience because we're no longer as attached to outcomes we can't control. Now, let's talk about the daily stuff, the small annoyances that can really test our patience like getting cut off in traffic or dealing with a rude customer service rep. Stoicism doesn't say these things won't bother us. Instead, it offers a way to deal with them more calmly. The next time something like this happens, take a deep breath and remind yourself, this is an opportunity to practice patience. 
It's about turning obstacles into opportunities for growth, which, when you think about it, is pretty empowering. Another practical stoic exercise is the view from above. This is where you mentally zoom out and see your life from a broader perspective. It's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day drama, but when you take a step back, you realize how small most of our problems are in the grand scheme of things. This doesn't mean our problems don't matter, but it helps us keep them in perspective. Try it next time you're stressed. Imagine zooming out and seeing the Earth from space. Suddenly, your problems might not seem so overwhelming. Stoicism also teaches us to embrace temporary discomfort for long-term gain. This is about stepping out of our comfort zones and challenging ourselves. Want to get in shape? That means hitting the gym even when you don't feel like it. Trying to save money? Maybe it's time to cut back on those daily lattes. It's about recognizing that short-term sacrifices can lead to long-term benefits and having the discipline to stick with it. Now, here's a big one. Gratitude. Stoics are big on appreciating what we have. Right here, right now. In a world that's always telling us we need more, this can be revolutionary. Each night, try jotting down three things you're grateful for. It could be as simple as a delicious meal, a warm bed, or a kind word from a friend. This practice can shift your focus from what you lack to what you have, cultivating a sense of abundance and contentment. Lastly, let's not forget about kindness and community. Stoicism might seem like a personal philosophy, but it's deeply social. The Stoics believed in the interconnectedness of all people, so, Practice acts of kindness, big or small. Listen actively when someone's talking to you, offer help without being asked, or just give someone a genuine compliment. These acts of kindness not only make the world a better place, but also bring us joy and fulfillment. So there you have it, my friends. Stoicism isn't about reading ancient texts and pondering life's big questions, though that's part of it. It's about living better, with more joy, resilience, and compassion. It's about taking these timeless principles and applying them to our lives in practical ways. And the beautiful thing is, we can start right now, in this very moment. Let's take these stoic tools and use them to craft a life that's not only happier and more fulfilling for us, but also contributes to the happiness and well-being of those around us. 6. Implementing Stoic Practices Let's get into the real meat of Stoicism, implementing its practices into our everyday lives. This is where the rubber meets the road, where those ancient philosophies start to look less like museum artifacts and more like the trusty tools they are, ready for the heavy lifting in our modern hustle. First off, let's talk morning routines. How we start our day often sets the tone for the hours that follow. The Stoics were big on morning reflections, taking a moment to prepare mentally for the day ahead. It's like doing stretches before a run. You could, for instance, take a few minutes each morning to contemplate what challenges you might face during the day and how you'll apply Stoicism to stay calm and resilient. Think of it as mental rehearsal for life's little dramas. Then there's the idea of voluntary discomfort. Now hear me out, because this is a game changer. It's about occasionally choosing to do something a bit challenging or outside your comfort zone. Why? It's a practice in resilience. Skip the coffee one morning, take a cold shower, or leave your cozy sweater at home on a chilly day. These acts aren't about punishment. They're exercises in reminding ourselves that we can handle discomfort and in doing so, we decrease its power over us. Now, on to journaling, a Stoic's best friend. It's not just about pouring out your feelings, though that can be part of it. It's also about reflecting on your actions, thoughts, and the day's events through a Stoic lens. Ask yourself, how did I respond to challenges today? Did I act in accordance with my values? What could I do better tomorrow? This practice isn't about self-criticism, 
It's about self-improvement and mindfulness. And speaking of mindfulness, let's talk about the stoic practice of mindfulness in the present moment. It's easy to get lost in worries about the future or regrets about the past. A stoic, however, strives to live fully in the present. One way to do this is through focused attention on our immediate tasks and experiences. When eating, really taste your food. When walking, notice the feel of the ground under your feet, the sounds, the smells. This attentiveness grounds us in the now, reducing stress and increasing appreciation for the little things in life. Another powerful stoic practice is the contemplation of impermanence, sometimes called memento mori. Remember, you will die. Now, it might sound morbid, but it's actually about recognizing the preciousness of life and making the most of our time. It encourages us not to take people or experiences for granted and to live in a way that, when our time comes, we have few regrets. Lastly, let's not forget the practice of empathy and kindness. Stoicism teaches us that we're all part of the human community, struggling with our own battles, deserving of compassion and understanding. It's about striving to see the world from others' perspectives, offering help without expecting anything in return, and practicing kindness, even in small ways, every day. This isn't just good for others, it enriches our own lives too. So, there you have it. Stoicism isn't just a philosophy for the intellect. It's a practical guide for living well. By starting small, maybe choosing one or two practices to focus on, you'll begin to see changes, not only in how you handle life's ups and downs, but also in your sense of happiness and fulfillment. These practices, rooted in ancient wisdom, are surprisingly relevant and powerful in our contemporary lives. They remind us that while we can't control everything that happens, we have immense power over our inner world and our responses to the outer world. 7. Invitation to Embrace Stoicism Now that we've journeyed through the principles and practical applications of Stoicism, I want to extend a heartfelt invitation to you. It's more than just an invitation to learn about an ancient philosophy. It's an invitation to embrace a way of life that could very well change how you perceive the world and your place in it. Imagine facing life's inevitable ups and downs with a sense of calm, resilience and purpose. That's what Stoicism offers, and it's within your reach. I get it. Diving into Stoicism might seem daunting at first. You might wonder if it's really for you, or if you can truly incorporate these practices into your busy life. But here's the thing. Stoicism isn't about overhauling your life overnight. It's about making small, consistent changes that cumulatively transform how you live. It's about finding strength you didn't know you had and discovering a wellspring of peace amidst the chaos of modern life. Consider this an invitation to start where you are with what you have. You don't need to be a scholar or a philosopher. You just need to be someone who's curious, someone who craves a deeper sense of fulfillment and is willing to explore new pathways to find it. Stoicism has room for everyone because, at its heart, it speaks to fundamental truths about human nature and our shared experience of life. This invitation is also a call to community. When you embark on this stoic journey, you're not alone. You're joining a long line of thinkers, leaders and everyday people who have found solace and strength in Stoicism's timeless wisdom. There's something profoundly comforting about that. Knowing you're part of a tradition that spans centuries and cultures, all bound by the pursuit of a good life. But perhaps most importantly, this is an invitation to action. Stoicism is not a passive philosophy. It demands engagement with life, courage in the face of adversity, and the discipline to focus on what truly matters. It asks you to examine your life, to question your assumptions, and to take responsibility for your own happiness and well-being. 
This might sound challenging, but it's also incredibly empowering. So, if you're feeling stuck, if you're searching for meaning, or if you're simply curious about a different way to live, consider this your sign. Dive into Stoicism with an open heart and an open mind. Start small, with a few minutes of reflection each day or a simple act of kindness. Read the ancient texts or modern interpretations. Reflect on their teachings and experiment with applying them to your life. See what resonates, what challenges you, and what changes you. This is your invitation to a journey of transformation, one that leads to a more resilient, peaceful, and fulfilling life. It's an invitation to not just learn about Stoicism, but to live it. And as you do, you'll find that this ancient wisdom is not just relevant, but revolutionary, offering insights and practices that can help you navigate the complexities of modern life with grace and grit. 8. Personal Reflection and Challenges As we venture deeper into the realm of Stoicism together, I find it's time for a bit of reflection, a heart-to-heart -heart on where this journey has led us and the challenges it's thrown our way. Because, let's be real, embracing Stoicism, or any profound change in perspective, isn't a walk in the park. It's a hike through rugged terrain, but the views along the way? Absolutely breathtaking. My own path with Stoicism has been filled with moments of clarity, frustration, and ultimately, profound growth. It's like peeling back layers to reveal strengths I never knew I had, and to confront weaknesses I'd rather not face. It's been about learning to stand firm in the face of life's storms, not by building walls, but by cultivating an inner resilience that no external force can shake. One of the biggest challenges I encountered was learning to differentiate between what's within my control and what's beyond it. It sounds simple in theory, but in practice, it's a tough nut to crack. I'd catch myself fretting over outcomes, over people's actions and opinions, over everything unpredictable and uncontrollable under the sun. But slowly, through consistent practice and reflection, I began to grasp this core stoic principle. It was like finding my footing on slippery ground. The realization that my power lies in my responses, my attitudes and my actions was liberating. It didn't mean I became indifferent to life's ups and downs. Instead, I found a way to navigate through them with a steadier heart. Another challenge was embracing Amor Fati, the love of fate. The Stoics don't just advise us to accept what happens, they urge us to love it, to see the hidden gifts in adversity. There were times when this felt nearly impossible. How could I love the difficult, the painful, the outright unfair? Yet, as I leaned into this practice, I began to see the wisdom in it. Each challenge became a teacher, each setback a stepping stone. It wasn't about masochism, but about finding meaning and growth in every twist and turn of life's journey. And then there's the challenge of applying Stoicism to personal relationships. It's one thing to practice Stoicism in the solitude of your own thoughts. It's another to maintain composure and kindness in the heat of an argument or the chill of rejection. Stoicism taught me the value of empathy of seeing beyond the surface of people's actions to the struggles they might be facing. It reminded me that, just as I am striving to be my best self, so too are those around me, in their own ways and on their own paths. This realization has deepened my relationships and helped me navigate conflicts with a more compassionate and understanding heart. Reflecting on these challenges and the journey thus far, I'm struck by how Stoicism isn't just about personal tranquility. It's about contributing to the world around us. It's taught me that our own well-being is deeply interconnected with the well-being of others. By working on ourselves, by cultivating virtue, resilience and kindness, we not only transform our own lives, but also touch the lives of those around us in positive ripple effect ways.
So, to anyone feeling daunted by the challenges of embracing Stoicism, know this. It's a path worth taking. The challenges are real, but so are the growth and the joy that come from facing them. Stoicism doesn't promise an easy life, but it offers tools for building a meaningful one, a life rich with purpose, connection, and inner peace. 9. Stoicism in Daily Life Bringing Stoicism into daily life isn't about donning a toga and pondering the meaning of life from atop a marble column. It's about the little moments, the decisions we make from the second we wake up to the moment we close our eyes at night. It's about the inner dialogue that accompanies us through the hustle and bustle of our daily routines, guiding us to live with intention, resilience and compassion. Imagine your morning starts off on the wrong foot, you oversleep, your coffee spills and you're running late. The old me might have let this dictate the tone for the entire day, a cloud of frustration hanging over every interaction, but through the lens of stoicism, this series of unfortunate events becomes a test of my ability to maintain composure and adaptability. It's a reminder that while I can't control the spilled coffee or the lost time, I can control my reaction. Do I let this ruin my day or do I take a deep breath, clean up and move forward with a calm mind? Stoicism votes for the latter. Then, there's the daily commute, a ripe ground for irritation. Traffic jams, crowded trains or noisy passengers, classic triggers for frustration. But Stoicism invites us to view these not as nuisances, but as opportunities to practice patience and empathy. Maybe that person who cut me off is rushing to a family emergency. Perhaps the noisy passenger is dealing with their own stresses. Stoicism teaches us to extend understanding and compassion even when it's not our first instinct. At work or school, Stoicism becomes a powerful ally in navigating conflicts and challenges. When a project doesn't go as planned or a disagreement arises with a colleague, Stoicism encourages us to focus on what we can control, our effort, our attitude and our response. It teaches us to detach our sense of self-worth from external validation and outcomes, finding satisfaction instead in the integrity of our work and the virtue of our actions. And what about our personal lives, relationships, self-care, personal goals? Stoicism has wisdom to offer here as well. It teaches us the value of being present with our loved ones, cherishing each moment instead of being distracted by past regrets or future worries. It encourages us to view self-care not as indulgence, but as a necessary practice to maintain our inner citadel, ensuring we have the strength to face life's challenges with grace. When pursuing personal goals, Stoicism reminds us that the journey is as important as the destination, valuing progress and learning over mere achievement. Even in moments of leisure, Stoicism has a role to play. It teaches us to find joy in simple pleasures, to live in harmony with nature and to appreciate the beauty in the world around us. Whether it's reading a book, taking a walk in the park or enjoying a meal with friends, Stoicism encourages us to fully engage with these experiences, fostering a deep sense of gratitude and contentment. In the quiet of the evening, as we reflect on the day that's passed, Stoicism guides us in a gentle review. What did I do well? Where can I improve? How did I respond to the day's challenges? This isn't about harsh self-judgment, but about thoughtful consideration and growth, always with an eye towards becoming better, kinder and more resilient individuals. So you see, Stoicism isn't just a philosophy for the big questions of life. It's a practical guide for the everyday. It's about making the choice, moment by moment, to live with virtue, wisdom and compassion. It's about recognizing that while we may not have control over the world around us, we have immense control over our inner world and our choices. 
And in this realization lies the true power of Stoicism, a philosophy as relevant today as it was in ancient Athens, guiding us towards a life of purpose, peace, and fulfillment. As we come to the close of our journey today, I hope you felt that spark, that gentle but profound shift in perspective that Stoicism can bring into our lives. It's not just about weathering the storms, but about learning to dance in the rain, finding joy and wisdom in every drop. Stoicism isn't a destination. It's a path we walk every day, with each step revealing more about ourselves and the world around us. It teaches us to embrace life in all its complexity, with courage, dignity, and a heart full of love. Remember, the journey doesn't end here. Just as the Stoics of old passed down their wisdom through generations, it's now our turn to carry this torch, to live out these teachings in our daily lives and to share them with those around us. So, let's keep walking this path together, supporting each other in our quest for a life well lived. If you're ready to dive deeper, to explore more about how Stoicism can transform your daily life, I invite you to watch our playlist right here on the screen. These videos are your next steps on this incredible journey. Each one a guidepost, illuminating the path ahead with the wisdom of the ages. Thank you for being here, for opening your heart to the timeless teachings of Stoicism. May you find in them the strength, peace and joy you seek. Until next time, live bravely, love deeply and remember, the power to live a good life lies within you. Click on the playlist and let's continue our journey together.